lot there, baby. It's adjustable roller, see? Check Ooh, it out. Oh, cool. Goes up and down, and then when the door hangs on it, it locks it in place. I like it. Yeah, so it has to swing out that far before you can. Before you can get them get on. Get it in there. What do you think? Well, I'm wondering. I can push it over closer to the deal, but I think what ultimately we're just want to put a edge on here and leave it out there like it is. It'll be even harder to install it if we push it into the wall. Yeah. yeah so you we'll make a ledge here. So the first thing we need to do is make the thing the track make for the our bottom. Little track to hold the bottom in. So yeah. Okay, so I just got some samples of the flooring that we're going to use. And I made this little cleat. It's going to go in the bottom here. And then it can be back here so you don't step on it when the door is all the way open. Show it from this side over here when the door is shut. You can see yeah. it's still clipped in down there. See? Oh, perfect. So there the door is shut. And it's still... Yeah, it's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. Sweet. It should work, huh? <laughs> you look so What's cool. up, YouTube? No, do it again. I was talking over you. Oh. I can't do it on command. It's like, you look so good standing there in the What's door. up, YouTube? My door is up. But I don't know how many of you have experienced this. As we progress with everything, uh, one thing affects the other. So I got my door working here. And that's all cool. But I got to put in the, I got to make an edge here that comes up against this but I can't take my door out without moving the refrigerator now and except I can come back here and undo these screws so if I had to take the shelves out of my refrigerator I have to move the refrigerator out to get the door open far enough because the door opens just fine for normal use but you can't rearrange the shelf height so as we keep running into these things, I'm going to mount this base on the fridge so that I can take it loose. And that cabinet there is going to be mounted so if I need to get to service this fridge, I can just take the cabinet loose and scoot it, take this loose, scoot it out, do our business and put it back. But I'm sure other people have ran into that. But what we got to do now, I'm not going to move all that stuff just to pull this door out. I'm just going to take the screws loose on the back side of it here and then take it in and put the edge on it. Looks like an ice cream cone. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> you have a beautiful smile. 
Ah, uh, you just want something. You're brown nosing me. I got everything I want, baby. I don't need anything. Should I do I'm that sick. crack? What are you thinking? I am loving this. This is the inside of our bathroom, the door. I, I'm, I'm super stoked. I love the color. I've always wanted to have a colored door, and now I'm going to have one. And wait, wait till you see what we do to the other side, the side that's out in the kitchen in the living room. It's worth waiting for. That special project she was telling you about for the other side of the door. It looks like a sticky situation. It's like tacky, man. Okay, we have the top marked. And it's going in. Ooh, look at that. are making a cork board here and here. Don't be so nice. Multi-purposing our door, huh? Yep. Okay guys, we have got my bulletin board up that I had been wanting, so that I'm super excited about. But the coolest thing is we have a door, man. We have a door in our bus separating the living area from the bathroom in the back of the bus. So, um, bulletin board is in place and I have a few special um, things up on top of it. I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this. So we're going to go ahead and end the video here and we will just catch you guys in the next one. Love to you all. Bye.